The excitement of Titan FC 32 at the Songus Center in Lowell, Massachusetts. The look on Desmond Green's face says it all. Oh, how good it is to be the newly crowned featherweight champion. That was the exclamation point on a great night for Titan FC outside the hexagon. I'm Tony Luffman alongside the one and only Jorge Rivera. And Jorge, I know there was a lot of excitement surrounding that championship bout. We're going to get to that. But you were especially intrigued by the feature fight. Zerleg Quinn fight was a great fight. Uh, Zerleg showed his ever improving stand up, using his hands and his kicks. A lot of kicks being thrown by Zerleg to set up the takedowns, which eventually won in the fight. Big right hand there, knocking him down in the first round. He was able to control the fight the whole time, taking him to the ground, and getting the only finish of the night with a rear naked choke against a very tough, a more athletic, and more accomplished wrestler in Quinn. I agree with you that Ryan Quinn was a tough opponent. The win by submission for Jarial. And then the championship bout, which there was so much anticipation surrounding and such excitement. And when you have the kind of performance that Desmond Green had the last time around, it's tough to top it. But when you walk away with the belt, I'd say that's pretty impressive. Yeah, I'd be, I'd, I'm happier walking away with a belt than when I am with a 24-second KO. Great performance again by Desmond Green. He did everything he wanted to do in his fight. Controlled the whole fight from beginning to end with his takedowns, closing the distance, in the clinch, delivering knee after knee, and then once again, getting the takedowns from the clinch and controlling the fight on the ground. Perhaps the most impressive part of this performance is, if I ask you the question, was Desmond Green ever in danger? Was he ever, in your opinion, close to losing the fight? He was never in any, any kind of danger at all. Even with that one arm bar, his elbow was clearly outside of danger. The whole time, I never saw Desmond Green in any kind of serious trouble. Let's take a look at all the results from Titan FC 32. Clearly, the headline has to be the newly crowned champion, Desmond Green, at the top of your screen. As you mentioned, there was just one submission victory. The others, all unanimous decisions. And a night of very hard-fought fights. And Titan FC wraps up a very strong 2014 and will be back in action in January of 2015. Titan FC 33 in Orlando on January 23rd. The explosive and quick YL Watson taking on Brett Johns for the Bantamweight Championship. This will be another in a long line of outstanding Titan FC events. Congratulations to the new champion, Desmond Green.